ينصح الخبراء اليابانيين باتخاذ الاجراءات التالية سبسكرايب لايك كومنت فيفرت Now throughout the course we're gonna be using a number of penetration testing tools You can go ahead and install each of these tools manually or you can do what most pen testers do including myself and save time and effort and use an operating system designed for hacking We're gonna be using an operating system called Kali Linux and it's just a flavor of Linux based on Debian and it comes in with all the programs and the applications that we need to use pre-installed and pre-configured This means that we can just install this operating system and then start learning or hacking There are two options to install Kali You can install it as a virtual machine inside your current operating system or you can install it as a main machine as a main operating system Throughout the course I'm actually going to be using it as a virtual machine because using it as a virtual machine works exactly the same as installing it as a main machine because it will be completely isolated from your computer because it's only going to run inside virtual box so if you break it or if you mess things up it's very very easy to fix it's very easy to go back to other snapshots other configurations and also you won't lose any functionality by using it as a virtual machine that's why I always use it as a virtual machine and in this lecture I'm going to cover how to install it as a virtual machine inside VirtualBox now I'm going to be doing the steps on a Mac OS X computer but these steps are exactly the same regardless of what operating system you use so if you're on Windows or on Linux you just have to download the VirtualBox version of your computer and then the steps shown in this lecture are exactly the same after installing VirtualBox so I'm going to include the download link in the resources of this lecture and I have it already opened in here all you have to do is just scroll down make sure you click on the Kali Linux virtual box images not on the VMware and then download the version of Kali that's compatible with your system so if you have a 64 bit computer download the 64 bits if, the, if you have the 32 bits download the 32 bits now one click on this will start the download for you if you're using Internet Explorer or Edge browser, then you're gonna have to right click and save target as. On Chrome and Firefox, you can just click the link. Now this is downloading for me and I'm gonna stop it because I've already downloaded it. So I already have it downloaded in here. And as you can see, you should get a file with a .ova extension. So you have the name followed by .ova in here. So, to install this in VirtualBox, all you have to do is literally just double click the file. And as you can see, I get a window which will allow me to import this virtual machine. Now I'm going to keep everything the same for now, and I'm just going to click on import. Now that's it, the virtual machine is ready to be used. Now before I start it, I want to show you how to modify some of its settings. So we're going to click on it. Then we're going to click on the settings in here. And the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to go to system. And I'm going to modify the amount of RAM it has. Now depending on how much total RAM you have on your computer, you can leave this at 2 if you want. But 1 gigabyte is enough for Kali. I usually leave it at 2 because I have 16 gigs of RAM but if you have less 1 gigabyte is enough for it also if you come here on the processors you'll see that by default I have two processors assigned to it again I have eight CPUs so two is not gonna cause too much pressure on my computer if you have less one CPU is enough for Kali now we're gonna go to the network settings and we're going to set this to use a NAT network. Now sometimes when you set this to a NAT network, you won't see a network name in here. If you don't, please check out my link in the resources and it will show you how to create a NAT network. For me, it already has a NAT network, so I'm going to keep it on this one. And what this setting basically does is it's going to create a virtual network where my host machine which is my Mac OS X computer in here is going to be the router for this network and then all the virtual machines are going to be clients connected to this network so they're going to get internet connection from my host machine 
and at the same time all of my virtual machines will be connected to a virtual network this is very handy because my virtual machines will be able to communicate with each other we can use one of them to hack into the other we can use it to test networks attacks and much more so it'll first allow my virtual machines to have internet connection it'll also allow them to communicate with each other and it'll do all of this through a virtual network it will not use any of your wireless adapters or any of your wireless cards it will create a virtual ethernet network so as far as the virtual machines concerned they're gonna think that they're connected to a, to a network through a wire so that's it I'm done with my settings right now and I'm gonna click on OK and we can start our virtual machine now to start it all we have to do is just click on the start button in here now I'm going to click inside the virtual machine and hit enter. And we are inside the virtual machine. Now if you followed everything that I did so far, started Kali and got stuck at a black screen. So if you did not get the screen that I have right now, then don't worry about that. This is a common issue and I've included a link in the resources of this lecture that shows how to fix this issue. You can access the resources of this lecture or any lecture by clicking on the resources icon on the top left of the player. If you follow all of the steps shown in the link and you're still stuck at this issue or if you're getting a different issue, then please post this issue in the Q&A section and we'll respond to you within 15 hours and help you to fix this issue. Now it's asking us for the username and the default username is root, so R-O-O-T. And then it's asking us for the password, and the default password is the reverse of that, which is T-O-O-R. And that's it, now I'm inside my virtual machine. Now since we installed this using the ready image, we can just go to view, full screen, and we'll be able to go in full screen and the screen will resize automatically to the size of our screen. Now note in here, you see that I have a network icon appearing in here. And if I click it, you'll see it looks like I'm connected to a wired network. As you can see in here, it says wired connected. So Kali thinks it's connected to a wired network because we set this machine to use a NAT network. So if I open my browser in here, you'll see that I have internet access. So that's it. That shows how to install Kali Linux as a virtual machine. Don't be intimidated by this new operating system. We're gonna go through the basics and we're gonna use it a lot. And it's actually gonna become very easy for you to use. Also, like I said, you won't lose any functionality when you install Kali Linux as a virtual machine. It's actually better to install it as a virtual machine because it's completely isolated from your computer and it'll be very easy to fix if things go wrong. Keep in mind, installing this on different hardware and different computers might show you some errors and some issues. So please, if you have any errors, just add them in the discussions and I'll help you resolve them. <laughs> Subscribe, like, comment, favorite.